Hey folks, Quilly Heen here, and um, I just, if you guys don't follow me on Twitter, I want to explain why um, there might be a gap in videos this week. Well, for, okay, there's two channels, youtube.com slash Quilly Heen, the gaming channel. There might be a, ga a gap in, in some of the um, some of the, the Let's Plays that are coming out this week, and if you follow the programming channel, youtube.com slash Quilly Heen creates why there was no programming video today on Thursday. Um... It's because I just got back from the hospital for, like, the third fucking day in a row. Uh, my, my wife, who you guys might know, if you go to my live streams, um, Essentia Monica, who is my, like, chief mod and community manager and all those things, um, that's, that's my wife, and she's been in the hospital for the last three days, and I've been spending as much time as I can there. The only reason I'm not there now is because they kick us out at, like, 9 o'clock. Um, the first night she was in the emergency room, and it was fine. I just stayed there the whole night. It was uncomfortable at fuck. I didn't get any sleep. I was up for like 40 hours straight. Um, it was it was really, really, really rough. But, um... Uh, words. I can't... I can't... <laughs> it's too late. And I'm down a beer and a half from being home already. Um, but yeah, in the emergency ward, I was able to stay all there. But now that she's, you know, she got moved to a regular room, it's just 9 to 9 are the visiting hours. So I can't can't stay there overnight. Which, um, honestly, is probably better, because it probably means she gets more rest, but, um, but it's weird not being there. Anyway, um, it's not, it's, she's not in a critical situation or, or anything like that, you know, um, we're, we're not, we're not worried, like, that much, mostly at this point, um, she's, you know, mostly not liking the hospital food and getting poked with a bunch of IVs and things. Um, normally, I would not, you know, there's a sort of... You know, there's a certain amount of openness, especially in these internet eras between, you know, a person and a sort of audience type thing, and I don't like to think of that divide, but there's still things you just don't talk about and you hold, you know, personal and private. Um, and I wouldn't normally talk about health type things like this, but it's it's impacting the channel. Um, and, and people are asking and they're wondering, and, you know, we're sort of trying to post, especially on Twitter. If you don't, Twitter is where we sort of just, like, spew and talk a lot, right? If you want to be spammed with random nonsense about just, you know, what meal we had that day or something, you know, follow at twitter.com slash quillyteen or twitter.com slash essentia underscore modica. Um, and, you know, you'll get that sort of stuff. Um, I also, you know, I do have the Facebook thing, but on Facebook, I, I don't post that stuff. Mostly it's like about big events that are coming up and that people want, might want to sign up for. Uh, but yeah, on Twitter, so you can follow some of the stuff there. So, um, like basically, uh, essentia, who's my wife? Did I explain that? I've already lost the thread of things. Um, she was having a fever for, like, a few days in a row that would sort of come and go. It was kind of weird. It didn't really seem like a, few, a flu because she wasn't really getting a lot of the classic sort of flu symptoms. Um, and then, you know, yeah, it'd be, an, you know, another day and she wouldn't have a fever and everything would seem fine. Then, like, randomly, I don't know, bam, in the middle of the afternoon, you know, spiking a, a fever again. Um, and so, yeah, so every day we'd be like, oh, it's probably fine, it's probably passed. And then, like, after the fourth or maybe fifth day, we're like, okay, this is just weird. Go to the doctor. She went to the doctor, and the doctor was like, okay, I'm just going to send you to emergency um, to get looked at there and get a bunch of blood tests, you know, get done, you know, ASAP. I figured this out because it's it's really weird and should not be happening. Um, and sort of weird has been the, the theme of the whole thing. She keeps being told she's an interesting case which is code word for we don't know what the fuck is going on with you. Um, you don't want to be an interesting case when you're at the hospital. Um, they've done, like, a billion different tests. They've done, like, I don't know, they've drawn so many vials of blood and we've lost count. Um, there's really nothing weirder than watch someone do a spinal tap on someone you love. Um, on a weirdness scale, I guess that one would be an 11. Sorry, I shouldn't... <laughs> It's really fucking weird. If you don't know, like, a spinal tab is literally they jam a needle into your spine, and then the spinal fluid drips out, and they put it in the beaker, and then they test that. She doesn't have meningitis, which is good. They were worried about that, because they're like, this is all... I don't know. We don't know. There's... She's got an infection. They couldn't They couldn't track it down. We, they still don't know where the fuck it is. They've, she's just been on IV antibiotics for the last three days. Um, so, yeah. So, that's why there's going to be a gap in some of the content. Uh, if you're watching the gaming channel, youtube.com slash quill18, uh, a lot of stuff is, like sort of gets pre-recorded in a sense. Like I tend to do things in, in bulk. Like, oh, I'm in the mood to play XCOM today, so I'm going to record five episodes of XCOM or whatever. Um, and, and, you know, I try, I try to do that as much as possible, and then it puts a little bit of a backlog of content, which is good. That's one of the ways that I ensure that video content keeps coming out. Um, but because 
I've been at the hospital for like the last three days, um, not recording anything, and probably tomorrow I will be back at the hospital. At some point, the games are going to start running out. The series have not been cancelled. They are still going on. I'm just, you know, not home. Um, and actually, I'm going to take this opportunity again to apologize for the Baldur's Gate people. That series is coming back. It was supposed to come back in January, and I, I don't know, I keep... Other things keep supplanting things. Um, I want to finish Baldur's Gate and, and eventually move on to Baldur's Gate 2 again uh, because it's been ages since i played those. And Anyway, I'm really sorry if you're a follower of that series um, that has been put on such a long hiatus. It's not supposed to be, but it is what it is. Um, and on the programming channel, um, I'm especially feeling bad because um, of, you know, uh, people gotten really used to the Tuesday and Thursday release dates, which I thought was like a nice, nice little schedule. And that is a nice little schedule. We are, you're not going to lose an episode. You're not going to miss an episode. Whenever we get back on track, there'll be three or four episodes in, in one week or something like that. Um, so there will not be a, a lost episode, um, just only delayed episodes. And they're going to come out a little bit more clumpy. And then, then we'll get back on track with the regular schedule. Uh, so you don't have to worry about that. But um, I know I'm going to get a lot of messages about, you know, people saying, hey, uh, where is where is this? What's happening there? And so this is my way of trying to explain that. Also, if you're subscribed to both channels, sorry, you're going to see this video twice in your feed because um, I'm just going to upload it to both. Uh, thank you, everyone who sent in, you know, positive uh, remarks on, on Twitter and, and email. Um, you know, it's really nice. And, and thank you. And, you know, helps keep the spirits up. Um, and yeah, so that's that. <laughs> so um, I was actually hoping she was going to be home. Well, originally I was hoping she was going to be home today. And then I was hoping she was going to be home tomorrow. doesn't look like tomorrow is going to happen. But she is getting better. She is getting better. The symptoms... The symptoms are all still there, but less intensely. Um, you know, she's still got a fever today, but not as high. So um, everything seems to be on the up and up. And, you know, so we're not, you know, we're not really concerned. Again, things are not critical, um, but they suck. So uh, it'll be really nice. Hopefully, hopefully everyone is back home on Saturday. Uh, maybe there'll be a live stream. We did cancel the Wednesday one. Um, there was no Wednesday live stream and... Uh, I don't know about Saturday at this point. Maybe, maybe not. I'm not sure. Um, hopefully, because I would love to get back on our normal schedule. Um, although, hopefully, uh, Essential won't be moderating for a little while. We'll let her rest regardless. But uh, as long as she's home, it'll feel a lot better. Um, there's something else I was going to say, and I don't remember what it was. But, um, yeah, so hopefully she'll be fine. But, yeah, all the, all the positive messages have been... Um, really nice. I think that's it. I don't know. I'm so tired. It's surprisingly exhausting to just sit around a hospital doing goddamn nothing all goddamn day. I'm going to finish this beer. I am a lightweight. I, I've, I know I've said that before. Again, this is a beer and a half I've had uh, in the last hour since getting home, and that is well past my limit you guys i'm gonna go and try to get some sleep because i gotta get nice and early tomorrow to make sure that i can uh get to the the hospital the you know, moment they let some visitors in again and uh we'll be back on twitter and keeping you guys up to date see you next time folks bye bye